Hey, what's up, everybody? I want to do a new type of video. I haven't done one of these at all yet. Um, I probably won't get any views for this video. <laughs> uh, but I'm actually going to do it on, I guess, my Deadpool comics. I mean, not only do I collect shoes, as you can see. I mean, these aren't all my kicks. It's just a little bit of my kicks. I collect Mad Magazines, but I also collect comic books. I mean, this is just two boxes right here, but this is my Marvel box. Uh, let's see. I don't know. Okay, here we go. So, my favorite Marvel character is definitely Deadpool. Um, I mean, don't get it twisted. I'm not the type of a loser that, you know, watches Deadpool on the... Wolverine Origins movie and considers him my favorite. Nah, man, I've I've been a Deadpool fan since his first comic book series. The reason why I liked his comic book series was um mainly because uh I really liked the art and I thought the artist was like way cool. And I thought his comic book was funny. It was just random. I'll actually show you uh, one of the first issues I got. So, like, this is a series that started it all, man. I love this series right here. It's the first series. This is actually a Wizard number one. Uh, you can only get on the Wizard magazine. Back when Wizard was actually good, like, actually cool to, like, collect and buy, you know? This is zero. Um, this is number one of the series I like. See, I really like this artist, man. He's, like, cartoony, but yeah, detailed. I really like the huge Deadpool logo. I mean, this this was legit back in the day. So, I got, so the, the original series, I only got, like, the first original six. But, um, the one I had back in, as a kid was this one. Now, this was funny as hell because, check it out. Because it says here, because no one demanded it. The Return of the Vamp. <laughs> like, that shit is so dumb, dude. You know what I'm saying? Typically, it would say, like, you know, because everyone demanded it, we'll bring the vamp. But because no one demanded it, they're bringing back the vamp. You know, that's pretty much saying don't buy this shit. And I love this, man. When, when did this come out? June of 97, yeah. Back in the day, I was heavy in the comics, man. And I got some of the later issues of the original series. These are kind of ones I got in high school. Then this is like Cable and Deadpool. Um, I don't have too many of those. I mean, it's pretty sick. Check that out. I mean, Deadpool has gotten, he's gotten pretty popular the past years. Which is, I guess, kind of cool. I mean, in a way, I did kind of like liking Deadpool when nobody liked him. You know? When not too many people knew about him, but it just sucks when you hear people now talk about them as if they're like fans since day one, you know, when they really weren't. But here is the recent series. I actually have every issue so far. Um, I believe it's all 23. Well, actually, no, I'm missing 22, I think. But, see, this is number one. I have all the first prints. You know, when I collect comic books, I'm not really in the variant covers. I'm not in the limited edition, collector's edition bullshit. I'm just into the original shit, man. You just give me issue one, first print, I'm good. So I got this joint. The first three covers are kind of, like, well-drawn, really serious. I mean, the story starts off with the scrolls, scrolls, I think, and how they were, like, trying to take over. But Deadpool pretty much destroys them and takes, like, the, the, the thing that Osborn needed. Um... I haven't read two. I I I forgot. I haven't read these in a while. I mean, I've read them all, but this one's pretty cool. This is where like they clone Deadpool and the scrolls, and it turns out that Deadpool still has cancer, so all the clones die. Super Scroll, of course, Deadpool beats the shit out of him. I mean, Deadpool's the type of guy. His powers are weird. He can. I've seen Deadpool's head get chopped off. I mean, this man gets shot. He can't die, dude. Like. For real, they kind of made Deadpool into, like, Superman. Well, nothing can kill him. Except for maybe, like, small stuff. But, what is this? Issue 4? Yeah, it's issue 4. This is a pretty... This is a random one where you, like... I don't know, fight zombies and shit. Some of these issues are really random, man. They have random stories. This is where he's fighting, like, some fish guy. 
I can't remember I can't remember the the more earlier ones. I haven't read those in a while. This is where he fights the Thunderbolts and that this series actually continues on to a Thunderbolts comic, which I have them but I don't have them right here in this pile. So yeah, check this out, his head's chopped off. I mean, dude, the guy can't die. <laughs> um the thing about Deadpool, he's part of the whole Weapon X thing, you know? And he had cancer, so he figured the whole Weapon X thing would help him out. Turns out it gave him, like, awesome healing power. And pretty much the cancer in him can't kill him because of his healing factor. And it pretty much stays in him. Pretty much, I, I don't know what you would call it, like, dormant? Like, he can't die because of the healing factor. So that's kind of the thing. That was funny about getting cloned. Because it would, like, the cancer will, like, spread to it. And, you know, he, he's like, his skin's all fucked up. It's all weird. Um, you know, he has super ass abilities, like, I mean, he's, obviously he's awesome with karate and shit, and blades, and, it's weird, he's like a pirate in this one. This one is weird, man, I didn't really like the whole pirate one. This one's pretty funny. Beat the shit off some sailors. He started drinking. He's like, why not? This is where he tries to join the X-Men. I mean, Deadpool's kind of funny. Like, he doesn't take anything seriously. Everything's just a joke to him. You know, he's willing to sacrifice his ass for anything. That's what I like about Deadpool. I like humor, man. If you guys know me, man, I love to laugh. And, uh, you know, I don't. I really don't like to take shit seriously, man. Like, you just gotta live life, man. Enjoy that shit. I hate people from the streets thinking they're all hard and shit. You know, see, uh, I don't. I'm missing the issue right after this one. This is the one where like Deadpool and Spider-Man team up to fight Hit Monkey. <laughs> it's like it's a Hitman, but it's a monkey, dude. This, this guy doesn't even talk. So I don't know what happened in the last issue. I guess Spider-Man and Deadpool defeat him, but I don't. I'm missing that one. But then I have this one becomes like a sheriff and kind of saves the town from some crooked cops and stuff. And this is the most recent one. I guess the whole heroic age type stuff is starting up. I don't know. You know how Marvel's doing. They always have like some story going on. Like I have the issue where Captain America dies. So I and I haven't read it since then. So I don't know who the fuck this is. I mean, it, I'm sure that's not fucking what's his what's his name? Steve Rogers. I don't I don't know Captain America's name, but um, I also got this issue. It's uh, Deadpool number 900. I don't know why they named it that, but it's real thick. Um. It has different artist renditions of uh, Deadpool, different stories, so it's just random. I haven't even read the whole thing, man. It's just so thick and just so full of text. It's actually pretty cool. Um, Deadpool has a lot of series out there. Um, I only collect the original, you know, the one that's going on right now. And, of course, you know, I'll try to get, like, the original, the first series. But he also has, like, Suicide Kings, Merc with a Mouth. I don't know, I don't, I really don't fuck with those, man. Um, the only ones I, the only other one that I get is Deadpool Team Up. Just because I really like the art, and the thing is, each issue is a different story. You know, it doesn't, like, continue on to a different team up, so it's different. So, like, here, he teams up with some random ass people, the Zabata Brothers. It's pretty funny. Um, I really like this cover right here. Teams up with, uh, the Ghost Riders. You know, Johnny Blaze, and, uh, so, I mean, I really like that one. This one's weird as hell, dude. U.S. Ace, I don't know, he teams up with some, like, trucker or robotic guy, but he's, like, fighting off freaking, like, raccoons, dude. They're, like, with guns and shit. <laughs> so dumb. This one, I don't know, I'm not a big fan of this one. This one's, like, it... You know, the Living Colossus is just like a statue that somehow he's able to get alive and control. And then he, like, teams up with Frankencastle, which is like Punisher. You know, Frank Castle, but it's like a weird... I I don't know the story right now. You know, I don't read every Marvel comic, but I'm guessing Frank Castle died as of late. I don't know, man. And the last one I got is when he teams up with Captain Britain, which is pretty cool. So, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep um, buying the team-ups. And of course, the for the, the series now. Um, I also collect Street Fighter comics. Um, you know, uh, when I was a kid, I used to buy Generation X. 
Fantastic Four, uh, Scud, all that stuff, man. Like, I'm into comics. But, I mean, I'm not heavily, heavily, heavily into them. The only thing I'm really heavily right now is just Deadpool and Street Fighter comics. So, anyway, I just wanted to show you guys that. Um, let you know what's up with the Deadpool comics. Awesome comic. Best uh, Marvel character, I believe. You know, he's like one of the only characters that... Um, breaks through the fourth wall, which is pretty much he knows he's in a comic book. You know, he's not stupid. <laughs> but, um, anyways, yeah, uh, thanks for watching, guys, and, uh, peace out. Yeah. Hey, what's up, everybody? I want to do a new type of video. I haven't done one of these at all yet. Um, I probably won't get any views for this video. <laughs> uh, but I'm actually going to do it on, I guess my Deadpool comics I mean not only do I collect shoes as you can see my favorite Marvel character is definitely Deadpool um I mean don't get it twisted I'm not the type of a loser that you know watches Deadpool on the Wolverine Origins movie and considers him my favorite nah man I've I've been a Deadpool fan since his first comic book series the reason why I liked his comic book series was um, mainly because uh, I really liked the art, and I thought the artist was like, I mean, these aren't all my kicks, it's just a little bit of my kicks. I collect Mad Magazines, but I also collect comic books. I mean, this is just two boxes right here, but this is my Marvel box. Uh, let's see... I don't know, okay, here we go, so, like, way cool, and I thought his comic book was funny, it was just random, I'll actually show you, uh, one of the first issues I got, so, like, this is a series that started it all, man, I love this series right here, this first series, this is actually a wizard.